Well, hello and welcome back. Thank you for coming back today. You've guessed it, we're in the downtown Cato Paphos promenade area and we're going to take you for a little stroll. Hopefully we're going to meet some old friends and hopefully we're going to meet some new friends. But before we go, I'm going to introduce you to the most beautiful woman in the world, Miss Hotchin Brasivia Lebeuf. Hello, everybody. How nice to see you again and again. And again. Now, the first young lady on our trap there she is, Miss Lilla, one of the greatest braiders in the whole of downtown Cato Paphos, and she's braiding the life away. There we go. So stick with us as we keep going along the Cato Paphos promenade. Ah, there we are. We are on YouTube, yes. Stars, you're right? Good? Good hotel, it's a good hotel. It's a good hotel. Are you having a good holiday? Yeah, good. Are they looking after you? Oh, yeah. Because we know the boss. Do you? Yeah. So we can go and have a word with them if, 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 if they're not. But normally the staff there are brilliant, yeah? Brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. good, good, good. Really, really good. good. What's your little girl's name? Rosie. Rosie. Rosie is having, well, she's getting braided, that's for sure. Yeah? Is it, is it hurting? Is she hurting you? No, because if she is, we'll have a word with her. We'll have a word with her. Right, thanks very much. Have a great, great holiday. Great, great people, that's for sure. Right, the next person on our travels, there he is, that's Mr Hector, great, great artist, caricatures and portraits, there he is smiling, he's got my favourite t-shirt on again, and there he is, well, it's a very good sketch, but I think she's much more beautiful in real life, that's for sure, there we are, star, Mr Hector, he's a great, great guy, that's for sure, next man on the list, he's waiting his turn, there he is, Mr. Chris. Good evening, Mr. Chris. You're looking very smart, very yeah. dapper tonight. Always. Are you off out on the town tonight? No, no. But, no, no. Uh, you just thought you'd look really, really smart. Yep, he looks very, very smart indeed. Mr. Mark there. There we are. Mediterranean sea sponges. That's what Mr. Chris specialises in. So he's got some medium-sized ones, some small ones, some rougher ones, and these ones that will chop your head off. That's for sure. He's also got various gifts. Big shells, small shells. He's got sharp teeth and he's got these little things that have come all the way from Antigua. Sit down a bit. Man the stall. Let's see if we can make some money. So these have come all the way from Antigua and they come in various different colours and what happens is they absorb the colouring from their surroundings shall we say. And now there we are. She's going to make a fortune because she's absolutely beautiful. Now what we're going to do is sell all this stuff off very very cheap. How much is that supposed to be? That's supposed to be 65 euros. There we go. Anyone buying this for 20? 20 euros? 20 euros? Should be 65. No? No? No one wants to buy that one. Anyway, that didn't work very well. Oh, Mr. Mr. Chris is back. Mr. Chris is back. He's back. He's back. He's back. He went for an ice cream. He's gone for an ice cream when he's back. You right, Mr. Chris? There we are. There we are. There we are. Right. Now, Mr. Chris has got a son, by the way. There we are. His son's name is Mr. Mike, and Mr. Mike's got a diving school, and it's called Into the Blue, which is my favourite, favourite colour, as you understand. And he's on TripAdvisor, he's Paddy registered, he's on Facebook, and if you're phoning him from inside Cyprus, 96218976, outside Cyprus, you need the code, 00357. He speaks perfect English, even better English than his father, but he speaks pretty good English, that's for sure. Yes. See you later, Mr. Chris. See Thanks you. very much. Yeah. Absolute yeah. star. Now, the next lady doesn't need much of an introduction her name is Jenny the best there we are great smile always colorful and that's Mark probably Mark the best who knows yeah Mark the best that's Mark the best because it's Jenny's husband the next one wow he doesn't need much of an introduction either because his name is Mr. Constantinos there he is he's got a bit of his ching chong champagne rice there we are so he's been down to the Imperial walk got himself a bit of rice yeah <laughs> We've got to be careful, we are a family channel. Right, what he does is he puts your name on a grain of rice, engraves it on there, or your little message. You get to put it into a little vial, as I will call it, or plastic container. I'm just going to show you what those are. Have a look at that. So, varying different sizes. You can probably see in that one, it's got a little rose, that one's got a bit of gold. So, there's different coloured sands, there's different beads, all sorts of different things, different coloured bracelets and you can have it made for your dog, your cat, your auntie, your sister, whoever you want to do it with. You see a bit? I would like to tell to you that all these people are really working hard, so long hours, and of course their season is not too long. Mm -hmm. See you later, Mr. Continent. Thanks very much. 
Now, the next guy, well, he's changed his appearance totally. That's not Mr. Polis. It could be Mr. Polis's brother. I don't know. No, it's not. It's a rival. It's a rival. Mr. Polis is all the way up there. Now, we'll go and find out what that man's name is later, and we'll introduce you to him, sure, because this one is Mr. Polis, and he's been with us for a while. So at the moment, we will stay loyal to him. There he is. You right, Mr. Polis? There he is, an absolute star. What he does is, if you're wondering, temporary tattoos, or some people call them fake tattoos. Have a quick look at that. But this is my favourite book, because my thinking is, if you come in here for a wedding or that special occasion, look at that. Look at those works of art. And they last about 10 to 14 days. Absolutely spectacular. Or if you want something a little bit more subtle, maybe your favourite dog, who knows? A lion, etc. That's the man you want, Mr. Collis. Absolute stupid art. You negotiate with him between 10 and obviously 100 euros if you want something absolutely fantastic. Normally it's around about 20, 25 euros and you're going to get a great, great memory of your wonderful holiday in downtown Keda Papos, Cyprus. You see that? Should we talk about the weather today? Talk about the weather. The weather today was quite hot, time to time cloudy, but I'm so glad that it's not that much uh, humidity, conversation as we say. And it's so nice and it's a slight breeze. Today is very, very pleasant. And, yeah, uh, it the is. Glasses Oops. are not complaining. Not too bad, no. The glasses are not complaining. The temperature is quite nice. The humidity is not too high. And the last Gumbaru on our travels tonight is the Rastafarian. There she is. She's your last opportunity along the promenade to get braided. Or, if you go in the right way, she's your first opportunity. She's got a great, great smile. And she's going to braid the life out of you for between 10 and 20 euros. That's for sure. Mr. You know, uh, all these people, as I said before, are trying their best to please all the people who come into them. And of course, it's not very, very um, easy to please all the people all in the, the time. world. Yeah, that's right. They do have a difficult job, if you understand. Often, most of our Kumbaros, as we call them, our friends, street traders, whatever you choose to call them, speak very, very good English. But obviously not all of their customers are English. Some are Russian, some are Romanian, some are Bulgarian. We met some lovely Polish people last night, and I've no doubt they speak perfect Polish, and they probably speak perfect German. But, with no disrespect, their English, should we say, was not that good. So it's obviously very difficult for the street traders and them to communicate but somehow they do because they've got great, great patience. And you might just say they just want your money. They probably do. But as I've said in the past, there's a nice way to ask for your money and not such a nice way. You, see you know, Mr. Paul, the weather is so nice. We should be swimming today. Well, over the weekend, we are going to get the shorts. You're not going to see that. You're going to see me from there up. But you are going to see her in a bikini that's for sure so you're going to see the bottom half the rear end the top half and that beautiful beautiful face of Versace, Brasilia and Labou. all the balconies and verandas <laughs> by the way this one is close uh opposition no no the no our queen. new Gumbara premier yeah it appears that they're only opening on the weekends they have a branch up in the Paphos Mall so if there's something that you saw that you wanted that's where you would go. And it appears that this branch only opens on a Friday, a Saturday and a Sunday. So that's the busiest time. That's and for sure. also, let me tell you that this, uh, how you call shop, okay, Borsa Bella, this shop has got so unusual bags and the quality bags. Yeah, this is an upmarket gift shop on the Paphos Promenade and it's called Borsa Bella. There's their logo, and they sell up-market clothing, up-market gifts, dresses, shoes, handbags, that sort of thing. So if you want something special, I came here and bought some swimming shoes, and there they are on the banner, and they're a great, great pair of shoes. I got the blue ones, and they're very, very strong, but at the same time very, very flexible, because obviously you understand the Paphos coastline is beautiful, but it's quite rocky. So if you are trying to enter into the sea, you do need to have something on your feet. Otherwise, you're going to get some cuts and you're going to be going ooh, 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 at, at that sort of stuff. Anyway, Receive Le Bouffe has decided to venture into the shop and she's looking for a way to spend my money. That's what she's doing. But luckily for me, I'm outside the shop. 
Now she's looking at hats. There we go. Simon, Jeremy, you may have thought you got off, but you haven't. When you come out in November, December, don't forget to stuff those wallets because Cassivi Labouf is planning on bankrupting you, that's for sure. So if your name's not Ben, well, there you go. Right, come on, Cassivi Labouf. I tell you, once Cassivi Labouf goes in the shop, you're in serious trouble. We understand we want watch time, and if I go in that shop with her, we could be in there for absolutely hours. Lucivia? Oh, how nice it is to go shopping without the man who is knocking in the window. Yes, but we're trying to make a YouTube video. Wow. See what no, YouTube video is including the women's shopping also. Right. And I'm sure the women are very interested to see. Right. <laughs> What's, Stick with us. We're going to go and have a look at a view. You know, right, let's get away from that shop because that you know, shop's expensive, that's for sure. Stick with us as we walk up the Cato Paphos Promenade. We're not going that far. We're not going that far. There she is. All right, Miss Nadia. There we are. She operates out of the Have a Look gift shop and they've also got a gift shop uptown Paphos. So if you go into that shop and perhaps there's a handbag or something that you don't want, by the way, go and ask Miss Nadia and describe what it was and she will go up to the other branch and she will get it and you will get that perfect gift for yourself or whoever you want it for. Yeah, yeah, she's very helpful. I'm sure that she can help you and find something that, for example, been sold and you did like and then she can find it in upmarket shop. Mm -hmm. So, some of the shops, some of the restaurants, some of the bars, have a look at that. You've got the Azure on the end, you've got Have a Look, you've got More for Less, you've got the Homer's Diamond, and you've got a very, very popular place indeed. That's called the Wooden Pub. Very popular with expats and very popular with locals alike. The next one is the Baccarus Restaurant, and that's next door to the George's Optician. And if you look into that little nook and cranny of shops, right at the back there, you've got the Pizza Express, a very, very good pizza place indeed. And you've also got an exchange place and someone that sells very nice blue hats, because that's where I bought this one. You see me? Oh, um, I would imagine these apartments overlooking the Mediterranean Sea should be in the morning with a cup of coffee amazing absolutely beautiful yeah there are some apartments which you can rent above these spreader shops have a look at that and they're called the Pafaina Seaview Apartments if that's how you say it obviously my pronunciation is Sherlock Holmes but the view well the view is to die for have a look at that and we understand that this channel is actually about three things those views, your views, and of course, my views. So, if you want to see some more of my views on the weekend, we're going swimming, that's for sure. You're right, we are going swimming. So, guess what? I'm going to get some great, great views. And if you're very, very lucky, you're going to get one or two views as well, that's for sure. You see, yeah, what is there, Mr. Paul? Is it a pierce or rocks or something? It's like rocks. It? Well, it's either rocks or a hippopotamus. Who knows? Oh, I think yeah, it's yeah, rocks, yeah. that's for sure. There we show are. It, crabs, crabs, it. crabs. There it's, we are. Rocks of little crabs. Like Have a look a, at that. What is this now? Well, I think so the little big. tiny crabs, yeah. The little baby crabs. There's one there, there's two on the end, yeah, and there was a whole bunch of them running around. There's more over there. It's like Crab Central. Yeah. That's for sure. Anyway, sit with us. Let's go and take you out and have a chat with the little fisher boy. There he is, standing over there waiting with a fish behind his back. We'll have a chat with him and then we'll give you a view that is to die for. That is for sure. Chrisivia? Yes, this boy's been standing from 2017? 16, I think it is. 16? My memory tells me, I think it's 16. Yes. Now, I wanted to, we've got quite a few new subscribers and we are very, very happy about that, obviously. Some of you may be pondering, why does he call her Miss Ochin Grisivia Labouf? Well, that is the movie star name that I came up with from my pigeon Russian. And if you're wondering what it means, here we go. Ochin. Very. Grisivia. Beautiful. Labouf. Love. So, in plain, simple English, it means very beautiful love. Ochin Grisivia Labouf. And when I gave her that name, this is what she did. There we go. Like a true, true movie star. I can imagine that with a cigarette holder and a cigarette 
there we go she is an absolute star and i understand that most people only come to the channel because of her so i will keep her with me as my booth for the rest of my life have a look at that for a view absolutely spectacular the sea is blue the sky is blue i'm dressed head to toe in blue all that's missing is, is you and I would swim now with a great, great pleasure with all of you, our dearest people. Please, ever, what, whenever you see us, don't hesitate. Come and look to our shoulder and say, hey, we know you. What can be better? We're loving you to be. And come back to see another of our beautiful, funny and unusual madnesses. All that's left me to say is thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit the like, click subscribe, and please come back for a little bit more of our madness. Have you subscribed? He's thinking about it. Get him a mobile phone, and we're pretty sure that he will. Thanks for watching.